What is going on everyone? I am Elite Chris and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial video on Farming Simulator 17. Today we are going to be looking at how to use the train to transport grains on Farming Simulator 17, as I said. So, without further ado, let's get started. So I already grabbed a load of wheat from the tipper, from the tipper, from the harvester over there. That is field 15, the field you start with on Goldcrest Valley, just to show you where uh, where I'm at on the map, which if you've played the game for a little bit now, you should know where this is. So you're going to come up here, going to drive over here, and I want to show you this real quick, just so you know. Um, right here is the uh, prices and how much you have in your storage, blah, blah, blah. You already know this. But we're going to go to... For this example, we're going to take wheat to this. I know it's the cheapest right now, but it's the one that I know for sure. And uh, it does have the train next to it. I think that means it's only accessible by train. Because I know some of these other ones are you can't get to by the train. But I'm just going to double click this and it's going to highlight it on the map for me. So, so you can see it right there on the left side. It says Maplefield Mill. And you can see that it is a there's a train track that goes around right in that area you can kind of see kind of can't i don't know but you don't drive over to it and then unload it into the train over there although some of you probably know this but some of you might not and that's probably why you're watching this video because you need to learn how just like i did um i had no idea at first it took me several minutes to figure it out for some reason i didn't realize that this was the transport hub um, you just come up to this spot up here and you're going to tip into this. It doesn't matter if the train's not over there or not, if you're worried about the train not being over there. Um, I'm going to change it to the grain door just because it looks cooler when you tip with the grain door. And I know I'm not going to get much money for this or anything like that. This is just for, you know, educational purposes. So you're going to get out and head over to the train. You can you can tab over to the train, but uh, we're right here, so I might as well just get out and walk. Um, there's two trains. There's this one. It goes towards the f east side of the map, so everything on the east side of the map it can get to. Not everything, but some of the things you can get to. You have to take it for a spin to really understand what it can get to. But this is the one we're going to want, so we're going to jump in the train. Um, we're going to pull forward till the trailer is underneath it. And you can actually haul more than uh, one type of grain with this. But we only have one in here. This is basically like another storage silo. So you're going to hit R to start filling. And we're going to fill it with our wheat. And that's it. And then we're going to head off. Just a heads up when you're driving the train. The braking takes a long time to brake. As it should. Considering it's a train. But it's really hard to get used to. Just a heads up. And it also has a really cool horn. That was probably really loud. I apologize for that. There's also another hub up here you can bring bring stuff to and transport. I'll show you where it is on the map. It's right here on the map. It's kind of close to where the shop area is. But you can also drop stuff off there and load it there. If, depending on where your train is and where your field is. It's probably more where your field is because the train's easy to move around, the train or the roads and stuff, you kinda get it's a little longer, so it's easier to just bring it to whatever hub is closest for you on your tractor and then just drive the train to it. Um, you can drive the train in reverse too, obviously, just letting you know. So when you mark it on the map it's gonna come up with this thing, but there's a little grain catcher right there. A little tip point, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to stop it here because this green circle is going to annoy me. I want to turn it off, so just double click that again and it will shut it off. So we got to back up a little bit so that the tipper icon is up on the bottom right. And you're going to hit I to tip. And there you go. That is how you tip and you load the train on Farming Simulator 17. Thanks for watching guys, and stick around for more tutorials and Farming Simulator videos. Thanks for watching.